All right, guys, welcome to a new JavaScript video. And today we are going to learn how to set up Chakra UI in our next JS project. So we're going to do it all from scratch and we are going to make sure that Chakra UI is really working. Okay, so for today's lesson, I created this folder over here. Um, I'm just gonna drop it inside Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna bring it here so you can see it better. Okay, a bit slow. There we go. So as you can see, I'm inside the folder. I have no documents, no nothing, so we are good to go. So we are going to start by um, <clears throat> creating our next JS app. Okay. For that, I will be using um, npx. I'm inside this folder. I'm just going to copy paste. I'm just going to press OK. Yes, to proceed. And of course, now I am. I need to say what my project name is going to be. I'm going to just call it uh, Next App. OK. Do you want TypeScript? Um, I'm going to say yes for this one. I'm going to say yes. Source, I'm going to say no for this one. No for the experimental app directory. So sorry. And I'm going to press OK. So this is going to take a few seconds. OK. This is doing what it's necessary, creating all the files and folders. And as you can see, it has started already, but it is not finished yet. So, um, first, we are going to install Chakra UI, and this is what we are doing. And then we are going to install. Sorry, we are going to install Next.js, and that's what we are doing. And next, we are going to install Chakra UI and make sure it works. So we need to do a bit of work. Um, we will have to do uh, the, what it's called. The, the chakra provider. So we need to import chakra provider and basically we need to to wrap our app um, with chakra provider. So what? So our app will go inside chakra provider. But we'll see that in a few minutes. Um, this takes a bit. Okay, it has finished. Good. So now we can basically um, run our development server just to see what it looks like so far. So I can do cd next app. Here I am. And then I can say npm run dev. This is how to start um, the server. And we can check this command. We don't have to really memorize it in the package JSON file. There we go. So npm run and then run this script, run dev. I'm going to press enter. It's going to open a local host. And uh, OK, there you go. In my case, is localhost 
3001. You always need to check what is yours because in case you have a local host open, it's going to open in a different one. So let's see. Now we are going to just open Next.js to see if it's all good. Okay, there we go. This is the usual Next.js 13 boilerplate. And then we can edit something just to prove this is working. So we can go, we can close this. <clears throat> we can go to Pages, App. Sorry, my mistake. Index, not app, my index. Computer is a bit slow. Okay. And I can simply delete everything inside the main tag. This is what I'm trying to do. Okay. There we go. Okay, main tag, and I'm gonna say, no, no, H1, and I'm gonna say hello, next JS from the JavaScript way channel whatever you want to say just to prove that this is working file needs to be saved it is saving as you can see because I'm recording a video my computer is a bit slow hopefully okay it's done you can see it's done I'm gonna just do this okay there we go this is what we wrote. We can also inspect the page, check the console, clean the console, sorry, clean the console, and as you can see, there are no errors, which is great. Okay, so now we have Next.js app, our boilerplate with the initial uh, files and folders all set up. Now what we need to do is to install uh, Chakra UI and use uh, Chakra Provider. Okay, so we are going to do that. We're going to do that now. So we can uh, let me just do something. I'm going to go just in case, I always like to stop my server, clear the server, okay, server is not running, and now if we go to here and, refer and we see already, because it's not running, we see this warning message, and if I refresh the page, the page is gonna crash, okay, as expected, good. So now, what we need to do now is to install using npm. We're gonna install Chakra UI, okay, at the root of the at the root of the project. This is the root, and we are in the correct place. Just gonna copy paste. And if you're wondering, I'm just copying pasting this stuff from the official documentation. Okay, and then run it. It's gonna take a little bit again, but no problem. Hopefully not too long. It is taking a while, okay. Um, what we need to do after this gets uh, totally install it, is to import the Chakra provider from Chakra, Chakra UI React. 
and wrap our app function. So I'm gonna go, okay, this is finished. So I can go back to my app. This is the correct file now. Um, what we need to do is to wrap this bit. So I'm gonna first do this. I'm gonna import Chaka provider so I can use it. In this return, I'm gonna do first something else. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna use a um, empty fragment from React. Okay, then I'm gonna paste this back and then I need to call my chakra and there we go, it's available to me now and I'm gonna wrap this bit over here. So now this is it. I just need to restart the server. So I'm going to do again the same command to run my development server. I'm going to do npm run dev. This should bring again my localhost that we still have open, I believe. We just need to refresh this. Let's see. Okay, my computer is a bit slow, as I told you. Just be patient. Very slow. Okay. Embarrassing. Come on. Okay, finally it's coming up. Taking a long, long time. Okay. Now, how do I know that this really is working? Okay, I can use um, Chakra UI. Go back here, close this, I'm done with this. Can also do this. Can also make this a bit bigger for you. This H1, I can use, for example, a adding. Adding. And now, as you can see, there's a problem because there's no adding. Why is there no adding? Because I have not imported it yet. So if you use something from Chakra, you need to import it. Okay? So let's just import at the top. Import. And what do we want to import? We want to import the adding. Adding. From where? from Chakra UI React. This should be good. Okay, the error is gone. Now I'm going to say adding as um, H1. And I'm going to say font weight. And I'm going to say bold. I'm going to also say font size and I'm going to say 5XL. So now I hope to see big changes and if I do see big changes reflected on this adding, this means Chakra is also working. There you go. Okay.
and I can also make it even bigger. I'm going to make like 8. Okay, as you can see, this is working. So I can also say color, let's say um, red 600, whatever. Boom. Okay, this is it, guys. Now we have successfully installed Next.js and also successfully installed Chakra UI and we made sure that everything is working like we want to. So this can be your boilerplate for future projects. I hope you guys like it and I will see you in the next video. Bye!